Today is the 14th of December 2017 at Wapayo Vets. This is a one year old female hamster that was brought in for the complaint of itchy ears and inflamed skin. As you can see, the ears are red and the belly is inflamed and red as well. So this is a Be Kind to Pets educational, veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vet. My name is Daniel Lo and I'm an intern at Topayo Vet. This hamster was brought in five days ago and we hospitalized it for treatment. The treatment was to apply ear ointment and flush the ears. For the inflamed skin on the belly, we clipped the hair on the hamster and applied skin ointment. On the fifth day of hospitalization, the hamster is about to go home. It is, its appetite is good. It is eating, drinking, urinating and producing feces. Now we are about to apply the ear ointment. Two years or one year? This is for both of its ears. Mm. So in inflammation of the ears is probably due to the sand getting into the ears. And this is quite common because the hamster is being given sand baths and some of them love to roll into the sand and most likely the cause of it will be uh, inflammation due to sand bath. We need to show the hamster at this corner because obviously obviously we can't see it. Yeah. Now this is a very nervous hamster. So now we have done the ear it drops. So the next next part? The next part of the treatment is to disinfect the belly of the hamster before After, we apply. Uh, did we shave the, the, the belly? This was shaved mm. under five days ago. Mm. Yes. And you see the inflammation is bad and there's infection. So ulcers? Any ulcers? How long has the skin disease been going on? Probably for many weeks already. The said three days. Three days, huh? You can see especially the neck. The neck is really ulcerated, so even in dogs and, and, and uh, in dogs with uh, ear diseases, the hamster and the dog scratches the neck. You can see the neck is really belly inflamed. So we are treating it every day, and it's already been five days. Huh? At least the belly, there seem less inflammation in the belly. Now this this one is a bacterial infection and and sometimes a fungus as well. So we are giving treatment of cream. Perfect. And overall the hamster is actually eating very well. You can see the stools. The weight is is it putting weight? What's the weight? Seven grams. The weight today is when, on, 47 grams. How about weight when coming in? 55. So actually it's dropping weight as so well. It's losing weight. That's the inpatient record. Okay, so this treatment is using the Nelden cream and uh, hamster will go home for further treatment as the owner may not want it it to be here for too long by right it should be here for 14 days at least but due to economics the owner does not uh, want it to be here for too long so let go first let go let go we, we, we just let go first because sometimes the hamster needs to be uh, rested a while before you continue Okay, what's the conclusion? So yeah. Okay, there's oral antibiotics as well. Yeah. So this treatment is oral antibiotics, petro and also oral steroid, prednisolone, mm. which was given in concurrent with the topical treatment. Uh, this hemp is particularly difficult to catch, and it happens because he's in pain, the skin inflammation. He doesn't want people to touch him, but so I don't think the owner really can do it. You should got to wear gloves. Now my assistant used double gloves. Double gloves to to hold the hamster. So that's how you give medication. Holding it. And uh, penicillin and vitreal oral. 
Okay, then put down. You can see the screws. This shows that the hamster is yeah, eating well. Now the whole the upper body is actually not so bad now. Upper body inflamed, you know. So what's your conclusion now? So in conclusion, this hamster mm. has responded well to treatment. Mm. Although it's losing weight in hospital, it is going home today with oral medication and instructions to continue the topical treatment. What's the diagnosis? Diagnosis medical was otitis externa and ventral dermatitis or okay. external ear infection and inflamed belly. I can't see the hamster. Right okay, so we conclude. Okay, the owner has come for the hamster, but has, has I can advise her to put down further so they won't drop. Don't put so high up after it drops on the floor. They put inside, you can see it's much better, but on the neck there, the neck area, mm -mm -mm. I don't know where you can see. Huh? Oh, okay. The neck area, just turn, turn upside down. Mm -hmm. You can see the neck area mm. is really ulcerated huh? mm -hmm. due to scratching. There, you can see. Okay, careful, 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 careful. okay, put down first. Huh? So, it's better not to bring back unless you know how to do it. So, what, what? so how do we actually clean her? Like use a cotton bud or? Facial cotton but you got a hole like what we did this time, is it? Mm. You can you manage to do that because otherwise it will get worse and worse. And then the whole thing will be full of pus. And the skin will be broken. Mm. Smelly. There's some cheesy smell after that. Like. I mean, if it continues like that, mm -hmm. maybe. But is she like improving, like getting better? Mm. Okay. Yes, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. She is eating well mm. and... Yeah.